What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zachary Smith. First and foremost, before we dive into this, if you could please, if you are new or haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we're putting out over here. And also comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this video as we work through this mock draft, any other video we've done in the past, or anything I'll be doing in the future and would like to see done in the future. Uh, hit me up. But yes, continuing on with an exercise that we have been doing, a full round mock draft for every team in the NFL uh, in order where they make their first selection. So 21 Los Angeles Chargers, four picks in the first four rounds, trying to have to regroup after that playoff collapse to the Jacksonville Jaguars and also a Justin Herbert extension in the near future. Jalen Hurts just got paid. Herbert can't be far behind and looking for his payday. What's that going to look like? Um, but we don't have to worry about that today. We get to be the GM just for the draft. So four pitch within these four rounds, how are we going to help the Chargers in 2023 and beyond? Let's dive into it. And hold on. There we go. It'll be cool to see something. There we go. Richardson at one instead. See a little bit of a shake up at the top of the draft. Christian Gonzalez at five. Jalen Carter, 10 to the Eagles. The rich get richer. No trades yet here, though, right? I don't think I missed something. There's one. Joey Porter Jr., the Vikings didn't want to let him continue to slide. We will also not be doing any trades. Um, stick and pick for this entire exercise. The Andre Hopkins, though, part of that deal. So, yeah, only one trade. Uh, I do not expect it to be this way come <laughs> draft night. But uh, here we are with the Chargers, and I think if you look at team needs, I think a ton of people would probably be in this spot uh, clamoring, for a pa clamoring for a pass catcher. Quentin Johnson, to me, you know, people have mocked him here, but a little bit of redundancy with Mike Williams, in my opinion. Uh, I'm lower on Quentin Johnston than the consensus, for sure. He's not even in my top five receivers. Um, you know, to me, if I'm doing pass catcher here, it's probably one of the uh, tight ends. Dalton Kincaid is my tight end one. <clears throat> I think, you know, if you're just looking for a pure pass catching tight end, probably operate more as like the slot receiver for them or a slot receiver for them. Dalton Kincaid, who is, in my opinion, the best pass catcher, period, not just at the tight end position in this draft class. He's the direction you would go. Michael Mayer kind of offers you a little bit of each, you know, the inline blocking ability, obviously higher than Dalton Kincaid, but he's a really good pass catcher in his own right, too. Um, he can kind of do it all. So those would be the two directions I were looking if I were going pass catcher. For the Chargers, though, you know, I think there's a lot of things you could talk me into. You could talk me into a position along the defensive line. Um, do you just want to continue to to improve that fence in front of Justin Herbert? Um, you know, would they have would they have been the team? Could I have justified pulling the trigger on uh Bijan if he got to this spot because of the Austin Eckler talk? I think so. What do they even list as their team needs on here? Wide receiver, tackle, corner, edge, and running back. So they don't list tight end, oddly enough, but I would consider either one of those two almost like adding a wide receiver anyway. Corner's interesting. Um, obviously, the the injury to Jack, J.C. Jackson last year, detrimental. You've got Asante Samuel there. We'll see how Jackson comes back. Deontay Banks would be a nice addition to any corner room in my opinion, just a freak athlete. The testing was off the charts. Uh, he's my CB3 in this class. We've already seen, oh, Cam Smith went too. So we've seen four go off the board in front of him. Uh, and I guess, you know, Brian Branch, if you consider him a slot corner. Uh, my short list here is probably Deontay Banks, Dalton Kincaid, and Michael Mayer. I could be talked into Anton Harrison for sure. He's my tackle too. I just, I don't know that that's the direction that I would go for them. Um, I'm going to do Dalton Kincaid. And I think my guy, Daniel Jeremiah, obviously Chargers guy over there, uh, is going to like that pick because that's his tight end one as well as my tight end one. I knew I wouldn't get lucky enough to have, have one of those guys for whatever reason just magically fall to round two for us. Do I know Washington to Pittsburgh? Pfft. 
Oh, okay. Um, so short list here for me is going to be you know, anything along the defensive line. So <sighs> Adi Adabaware is an interesting one because they list him as an edge. I don't see him as an edge. I think he would kick inside. Mozzie Smith, maybe the most ferocious hands of this draft class. I think he's the best uh, defensive lineman in terms of shedding blocks. Uh, Drew Sanders is very interesting as a prospect. He can go sideline to sideline. You can also use him in blitz packages. Um, they just lost Drew Tranquil to a division rival. It's probably the direction I'm looking right now. Jalen Duncan could be a nice, you know, developmental tackle. I those I mean those three right at the top would be the three that I were looking at. Um, the Chargers have such an issue with stopping the run, man. And they lost, you know, a, a depth piece in Braden Fajoko going to the Steelers. Um, so th- that almost makes it between Mozzie and Drew Sanders, even though I do like Adeboare, just not so much for what they're looking for. I'm going to go Mozzie just because of the, the value. I mean, I, I think both these players value-wise do line up, but Mozzie should probably go within the first, I mean, if not day day one very early in round two i don't think he's around at the point that we just got him at so i gotta get him off the board dang julius brent's fallen to round three would have been cool for us at 85 we're to reject that offer as all offers um yeah, I mean, I could be talked into a couple different things here. I like Ivan Pace Jr. Um, you're not going to really ask him to cover much, but I mean, just in terms of a guy that would, I, I don't know, he's not necessarily a household name, but being that I'm a Steelers fan, I'm obviously familiar with it. Like Vince Williams is kind of somebody that I think of, like a blitzing off-ball linebacker. You can use him like that. The dude just wants to make contact with people at all times, so you don't have to worry about that. The competitive t- toughness is definitely there. Jordan Battle would be interesting, too, for them. I think he'd be a nice little compliment to Derwin. Um, Again, going back to like the developmental tackle thing, Matthew Bergeron's here in this spot. Oh, Henley. There's a coverage linebacker there. So it depends on what flavor you want there. I mean... I'm not, I'm not it. Like I'm not in on Kenneth Murray regardless. So I'm not really worried about him blocking anybody. Uh, also this is like, I I should say this at the beginning of each of these videos. This is what I would do. Um, I'm very aware. Actually, my friend drew actually put together a spreadsheet of, you know, interest that has been shown by teams whether that's a top 30 visit, going to dinner with guys, meeting with them at the combine, literally any interest being shown by teams um, with players. So, like, I could very well pick a player that his team has shown no interest in in these spots. Um, with that being said, where do you go Henley here? Because I like the player more. I like Ivan Pace. For sure. I just think with his skill set, even though it's and he goes, he still goes in round three. Good for him. Um, I, it's just not something that I that I that I'm coveting that early. I would take him for sure, you know, round four, probably. Hendon Hooker finally goes. So much for round one. Dang. Is he a band of candle would have been nice. In round four for us. For sure. Um, I think in this spot, we're probably looking... This is a, I actually think he goes, you know, more like one of those comp picks in round three, I think makes sense. Jimmy Robinson from Florida State, the safety that 
when I look at safeties, I'm looking at guys that can kind of move around. I think he could play, give you something in the box or, you know, even in the slot too, potentially. Um, so I'm not saying he's like a true three phase safety or anything like that, but I think he offers you something. Uh, so here we go. Dalton Kincaid, Mozzie Smith, Diane Henley, and Jamie Robinson uh, for the Chargers in the 2023 NFL draft. Let me know how you feel about that haul, whether you're a Chargers fan, just a fan of the NFL, the NFL draft in general. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about that, what you would have done differently with picks. Love going back and forth with you guys and discussing my thought process in them your thought process and why you would go in a different direction or if you're in agreement, which is very rare, but let me know how you're feeling about the picks in the comments down below. Next up, we got uh, 22, the Baltimore Ravens will be up next. So uh, we'll be back with that, but until then we'll see you. Bye-bye.